This presentation is for Grade 8 Physics, Electricity. This will be presented by yours truly, Victoria Altaniedo, your science teacher, in collaboration with Ms. Olivia Aguila, our FSL interpreter. To start with, our objectives are the following. Number one, define parallel and series circuit. Number two, explain the advantages and disadvantages of series and parallel connection. Let us recall our previous topic. Are you ready? Number one, the source of electric circuit is called bulb, battery, wire, switch. Good! Battery. Number two, when voltage increases, the current will be lost, same, decreases, increases. Very good! It increases. It is direct proportional. Number three, resistance is inversely proportional to the voltage, bulb, current, circuit. Excellent! It is current. Let's go to our lesson. Observe the picture and identify the type of circuit. This is the first picture. This is the second picture. Good job! The first picture is in parallel. As you can see, it is connected along many branches. If one bulb is busted or failed, it does not affect the other bulb. Well, the second one is series. It is connected in a manner such that there is one pathway. If one bulb is busted, the other bulb will not be able to light up. Here are other definition of series circuit. This is the picture and this is the schematic diagram. Number one, the components are connected end to end one after the other. Next, they make a simple loop or a single one for the current to flow around. Next, if one bulb blows, it breaks the whole circuit and all the bulbs go out. Parallel circuit. Again, this is the picture and this is the schematic diagram. Here are other definition. The components are connected side by side. Next, the current has a choice of routes or path. Next, if one bulb blows, there would still be a complete circuit to other bulb so it stays light. In series, the advantages are Number one, simple to design and build. Next, less wire to use. The disadvantages, if one light goes out, they all go out. And the lights are dimmer. While in parallel, the advantages are more devices may be added at any time. Brighter light. The disadvantages, lots of wire, more difficult to set up. Now that you know the series and parallel circuit, think about this. Number one, would it be better to have lights on Christmas tree in a series or parallel? Why? Next, are the lights in your house connected up in series or parallel? How can you tell?